Item number SCP-2347 Index Maxwell's Phoenix Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2347 is kept in a standard humanoid containment cell, which is to be kept at 50 through 55 degrees C at all times. All interactions with SCP-2347 are to be performed by telepresence robots, and there is a 10-meter buffer zone surrounding the containment cell, which must be kept free of any warm-blooded animal life outside of testing procedures. SCP-2347 is not allowed any food, drink, or hygiene substances less than 45 degrees C in temperature. In the event of a containment breach, SCP-2347 may be subdued with standard non-lethal human threat neutralization protocols. If standard procedures are not feasible or otherwise ineffective, personnel are instructed to rapidly decrease the temperature of the environment surrounding SCP-2347, preferably to a minimum of 15 degrees C until Phase 2 has completed. This method is not recommended as primary procedures due to the high risk of collateral damage and, if enacted, all personnel should maintain a minimum distance of 10 meters until Phase 2 has completed. Description SCP-2347 is a genetically human male capable of involuntary heat transmission and exothermic self-resurrection. Aside from its involuntary properties, SCP-2347 is physically and functionally identical to a baseline non-anomalous human and requires standard feeding and medical care. SCP-2347's properties can be divided into two phases. The length of phase 1 is dependent upon environmental factors and has been observed to last from as little as 17 minutes up to 37 days. During this phase, the thermal equilibrium process of the environment immediately surrounding SCP-2347 is reversed, such that SCP-2347 experiences a net gain in heat, while the environs experience a net loss of heat. If SCP-2347 is warmer than the environs, and the reverse occurs, if SCP-2347's body temperature is colder than the environs, the rate of transfer is proportional to the ambient temperature, and is at its minimum at 53 through 54 degrees C. SCP-2347 has been observed to experience hypothermia symptoms when the ambient temperature is greater than 65 degrees C. Once SCP-2347 has transferred a sufficient amount of heat, enough to increase its body temperature to approximately 40 through 43 degrees C, it will spontaneously combust. All soft tissues will increase in temperature to a minimum of 150 degrees C in less than one second and will maintain this temperature until all soft tissues have been converted to ash. Fire control measures are able to minimize damage to the surrounding environment, but are unable to prevent the consumption of SCP-2347. Once SCP-2347 has completed the combustion event, it will enter phase 2. All bony structures remaining will maintain a maximum distance of 0.8 meters from each other and will slowly move in order to reconstruct a normal human skeleton configuration over the course of 24 hours. Once the reconstruction is complete, the skeletal remains will experience a brief period of extreme heat transfer, reducing the temperature of the surrounding environs by as much as 25 degrees C in less than 3 seconds. This results in the reappearance of SCP-2347, naked and unharmed. Note, it is currently not known whether SCP-2347 would regenerate in this manner following emulation from other fire-based anomalies such as SCP-1179 or SCP-1641. SCP-2341 has no unusual physical resilience to thermal extremes or unusual pain capacity. Based on observations and self-reports, SCP-2347 fully experiences its emulation events as a non-anomalous human would. It is intensely averse to experiencing these events and is fully cooperative with Foundation efforts to minimize their frequency.